So every architect should go ahead and try out this new architecture tool which has some amazing new AI features and here are seven insane AI features that every single architect should know. So right here I have a 2D floor plan that I've drawn and it's all on the web and it's all fully collaborative so it's super easy to use and one of the coolest things you can do with AI inside synapse.app which you can access by the first link in the description is that I can just click the camera tool I can click once where the camera starts and I can give the camera direction wherever I want and then I can just click once here. So once the camera is placed, then we can go to the focal length. I can increase it. So let's say 24 millimeters wide. We can also increase the height. We can go higher, lower, whatever. And now this camera, if we go ahead and type in bedroom in a cabin in mountains, in Switzerland and then I could say natural raw materials overcast sky outside during winter season and snowy weather and this would be our prompt and I can click send and in 9.8 seconds synapse will convert our 2d space in a full-on 3d render which is scale accurate just like you see here so this is absolutely insane in my opinion on how fast you can do something like this inside synapse and then even after this has been placed you can still do modifications so just a few of them to show you is for example we can say make the flooring chevron light wood we can click send and then we can also say um, add a painting on top of the bed so it added the painting and it also made the flooring light run how insane is this that we went from floor plan to render into testing options and obviously we can go ahead and branch this off even further so we can even say uh, make the walls darker wood right so this would be one option and then we can go ahead and even tweak more options so we can say make the flooring um, beige ceramic whatever i'm not like these are not even that good of design decisions however i think it's super cool because it already did that in 9.8 seconds and now it's branching this off so this is why this ai feature is something that every single architect should have in the workflow because here in synapse not only can you create this but obviously it has all the drafting features that you need. So it has like the wall, uh, you can customize how it looks. You can see you can improve it in terms of aesthetics as well. You can add openings. Over here you have the full asset library where you can just drag and drop assets, which you can do full design documentation while still doing a lot of experimentation with AI. So this is insane how we went from. So we went from this 2D floor plan with a camera tool and then to this render in 9.8 seconds and tested out all of these design options. Now, if that was crazy for you, then I have something which is even more insane in my opinion. If you actually go ahead and just draw a boundary, which can be nine by 8.2 and we click send and then we select this boundary and then we type in two bedroom apartment. In just a second, we should have a semi-finished floor plan ready for us. Now, this is not perfect by any measure. So for example, some of the doors are not correctly placed, but with just a few movement, we can have this already in place for us. So this is a lot quicker than having to draw all the walls manually. Even though it's not perfect, just imagine in a few months how good this will be with AI. Because soon enough, we'll be able to generate a full apartment block with just AI. So now we can also try that if that's something that you wanna try out. So let's see something like this. Let's draw a rectangle. Let's do nine by eight for this. Uh, let's do something larger. So we can say uh, 11 by 9.5 over here. And then we can go on this side. We can uh, close this off. So now we can just test things out. So now one thing which is very important is that the prompt here as of now has to be given in relation to how big the area is. So we cannot just select this area and then type in three bedroom apartment because this is too small for a three bedroom apartment and obviously the generation is not going to be good enough. So we can say one bedroom apartment, we can click send and now the apartment will be inside that area. Now let's say this would be the next apartment, we can say two bedroom apartment we can click send and now that will be generated within three seconds and then we can do the same thing over here to bedroom apartment we can click send 
And now we are going to go ahead and select this one and type in three bedroom apartment. I know that we are getting used to it with AI and there's new tools coming out every day, but this is absolutely insane, even though it is not at the highest level. So it doesn't 100% replace the work that you have to do in this. It still cuts a lot of time with having to draw everything manually. And it's very good just to test out different options. And now the crazy part is that we can also mix this up with the camera tool so we can just place the camera and generate a render like we did within the first prompt. So inside Synapse that app, you also saw how we could test different material options. However, we can also be a lot more specific. So what that means is that we can go here in Google and we can just type in a stone interior wall, for example. And we can, let's say, just download this one. We can just download any image and we can select the image first. So we select the frame, we select the frame, we upload the image here. So do not forget to switch to image generation here in the prompt. And then we can type in replace the wall materials with this stone and we can click send. And now, as you can see, the wall materials have been replaced just as easy as that. We can also test this out with different kinds of fabric. So we can just go over here. We can replace, so we can just select the image. We can upload some sort of dark fabric and we can say replace the bed fabric with fabric with this and once we click send the image should appear with the new changes in about 9.8 seconds so now the fabric has been applied to our bed let's also try this with the flooring i'm going to go ahead and download this uh, wooden plank image and if i go back at synapse we keep the image selected we upload this in the prompt bar and we can say replace the flooring material with this wooden plank material and we click send and this is how easy and fast we can iterate from a floor plan with skipping 3D modeling and we can test out design options a lot faster than anything else out there. Imagine if you had to re-render this for every single new material and this is not all because right after this I'm also going to show you how we can insert specific furniture that for example you want to test out or even the client has actually gone ahead and requested. So now it has applied this and made it even darker, which is even better in this instance. Uh, I specified it in the prompt to keep it darker. If not, you can just switch this out and test out a different type of material. So now let's test out other stuff. So we can say wooden bedroom bench, and then we can find something which is a PNG, which has obviously less uh, background, which would be easier for the AI to detect the furniture that we want to insert. So we can say, let's just go ahead and save this image. I'm gonna click at save this image as. Let's go back to Synapse. Let's keep the image selected. And we can say, put this bench right next to the bed. We can click send. Now let's see how well it actually imports furniture, which I think is very cool. How you do not have to go ahead and try to model or find a similar type of uh, furniture if you need something specific, but instead you can just basically attached to the prompt and it adds it for you. Obviously we could have been more specific if you wanted um, maybe right next to the bed or anything like that. But uh, this is still good because it inserted the same exact bench in our image. What is out of this world or like more uncommon is that it actually is all real scale once again, because if we click the camera and turn on live preview, you can see that this actually renders the space in 3D in the back end. I'm also going to show you how we can add recessed LED lighting, uh, like strip lighting in the ceiling. So we can say add recessed strip lighting in the ceiling with LED. Make the lighting in indirect. So we can click send. So you can see it added the strip lighting here. We can say to uh, take that one off, but uh, obviously it added a lot more than what we needed. It added a bit more than what we needed. We can still see that it actually added the indirect strip lighting. All of these results are gonna get a lot better as we go. So we've seen how this AI can turn a floor plan into a 2D real scale 3D render in 9.8 seconds, how we can test out multiple design options, how we can test out materials by typing a prompt, and how we can test out materials by basically importing actual textures they want to replace with certain areas like the walls, flooring, or even the fabric of the furniture here. And then we also attach furniture like the bench right next to the bed there, and then as well the recessed ceiling light. And on top of all that, I also showed you how we can generate floor plans. Now, finally, I'm going to show you how this 
can actually create 3D renders of exteriors as well. So this is an elevation that was created inside Synapse here, drawn inside Synapse. Uh, it's basically the elevation of this small little cabin that we imagined for uh, this video. So we can select the frame once again, we can say create a realistic render of this cabin uh, in Norway, overcast sky, winter season, snowy weather and we can click send and let's see what it actually creates for us in terms of exteriors as well. So this is the elevation and in 9.8 seconds, we're gonna have an exterior render based on this elevation. So now it has created this for us. What we can tell it as well as we can say, uh, turn on interior lighting to warm lights, add mountains in the background, add people in front of the, of the house gathering in a fireplace and we can click send. So now you can see that we took this elevation and then from this elevation, we went to this render, which is okay. It kind of didn't get the actual uh, roof right, which is only in one way, but you can see that as we prompt this, it's getting everything correctly because it's adding the mountains in the background, it added the people in the fireplace and it turned on the lighting. You can see that I've done a lot more iterations and test stuff out over here. This is an amazing render of the, the same camera that we took over there. And then obviously the exterior, which this time it actually captured a more lot it actually captured it more correctly with the planks and the roof as well, which I absolutely love. So now I'm gonna show you how we can attach a sketch or any elevation from any other type of software that you've drawn. Just make sure that you actually put this inside the frame in order for it to be rendered. So this image has to be inside the frame here, just like this. We select the frame, we can say, create a realistic render of this contemporary villa in, I don't know, um, let's say Finland make it dawn slash nighttime with warm lighting coming from the inside. So now we click send. And by the way, you can see that it's super responsive even in terms of the aspect ratio. And then it has basically created this for us, which I think is pretty cool. The interior lighting might be a bit too strong. Make this a realistic render in spring season in Finland. And then we can click send once again. And this is how we can test out different moods, different options, or anything that we want to test out. So this is what it created. So once again, we did floor plan generation, 2D to 3D in 9.8 seconds. We tested out different materials by prompts, different materials by attaching images, we imported furniture, tested out different lighting, added ceiling lights, did exterior rendering through elevations that were drawn inside Synapse, did exterior renders with attached sketches or elevations from any kind of software that you created. So go ahead, try out Synapse in the first link in the description. And if you actually want to learn this tool, everything that it has to offer, actually I've created a free course for you, which you can watch by clicking the video right here.